I'm Dr. Candy Z. I'm one of the consultant endocrinologists and diabetes consultant working at One Well Bet. The most common symptom that we normally see in endocrinology is fatigue, and there are lots of different causes um, with fatigue, but within endocrinology, we would look at any hormonal imbalances or any sleep patterns or some mood disturbances, which can also be related to their hormones. The three main pieces of advice I would give with people with ongoing fatigue would be firstly, they will need some endocrinology tests because if there are any imbalances in the hormone, we will have treatment to help um, alleviate some of that fatigue. Secondly, I think with fatigue, which could be ongoing for many months, then I think it's really important to have some expectations and that the fatigue will not go away straight away and we'll have to be realistic and work towards a goal. And thirdly, I think um, we need to look at daily routines, um, sleep patterns, all of which can contribute to the fatigue and by making small changes towards those patterns then they'll probably help in some way with the fatigue in the long run. The likelihood of some patients suffering these symptoms indefinitely would be a difficult question to say for the time being but of the patients that I've been seeing some have already almost 90% recovery within about six months from their symptoms and there are patients who are still about 12 months into their symptoms but they are actually getting better and I feel that there is a positive trajectory that they will continue to improve over time. One of the noticeable things with post-COVID fatigue is the collateral damage that I've noticed around the patient's family. When you talk to the patients with, um, with the fatigue, they tend to feel guilty and also anxious that they've not been able to contribute to the family on a day-to-day -day basis and not be able to help with childcare and provide for the family and I think as part of our assessment of our patients it's really important to understand these other implications around them as well as the patient themselves. How long um, are the symptoms going to last for these patients is going to be a difficult question to answer because I think we're still quite early on. However, looking back at previous similar um, infections such as the original SARS in 2003, we know that from some of the endocrine causes, a um, majority of patients are recovering after by 12 months um, of when they're followed up. So I think the majority of patients will recover over time, but how long that is going to be, I think will be a difficult question to answer right now. Although there's been a lot of work and emphasis on the physiological side of COVID, I think in the next few months to come, we really need to start focusing on the mental health of these patients because once they're physiologically better, I don't think that they will be mentally improved as quickly as that. And therefore, I think a lot of our resources and time will need to be spent with the patients to help them with their well-being and their mental health in the near future.